Hello guys, I should keep plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. Today's video is about AMD SAM Smart Access Memory. Uh, I wanted to do a video like this before I had the data and so I thought why not do a video only for that, only for the Smart Access Memory which uh, is the AMD's own resize bar technology, at least they brought it to the market and now Nvidia and others are implementing it, okay? And for people that don't know what is or how it works, the AMD Smart Access Memory, I have before the benchmarks a small introduction of what it is and how it works because I thought you'd like that. And you know what I think you'd like also? The sponsor of today's video. Sponsoring today's video, we have our monthly sponsor, GVG Mall, offering you a Windows 10 Pro serial key for only $17. And if you use my SKAG code, you get 20% off, lowering the price to $13. After the payment, you'll receive the key in no time and you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. And well guys, without any further delays, let's go to the part you want to see. The explanation and the benchmarks. SAM is an acronym for Smart Access Memory and it is how AMD calls their innovative resize bar technology which is basically the optimization of the connection in between the CPU and the GPU's VRAM, this through PCI Express. For now, SAM is only usable with an URX 6000 series, with no prediction of any date or performance for the RX 5001s. In terms of CPUs, it was mainly designed to use with Ryzen 5000 series and the RX 6000 series together, but it was recently unlocked to Ryzen 3000 series as well. But how does it work? Usually before smart access memory, the CPU could only access a max of 256 megabytes in every call it did. Meaning that if the CPU needed to access 1 gigabyte of VRAM, it actually needed to make 4 calls to do it. While with SAM, the CPU can access the full GPU's VRAM in a single call. That alone will theoretically improve the performance of games that use lots of VRAM calls since it eliminates the need of several calls for a small amount of VRAM and it makes it possible to access a huge amount in just one call. Let's go to the benchmarks now. The first game tested today is Gears 5, using the X12 and Ultra settings. We can see that in this game going from stock to OC already gives us a decent boost. Nothing astonishing, but it is there. But once we activate smart access memory, things go to another level, with 1080p increasing by 15 average FPS and 10 FPS in the 1% lows, and even with 4K results that see a pretty decent jump from 57 to 61 average FPS and a boost of almost 4 FPS in the 1% lows. Like I said before, it isn't much, but it is literally free performance. Who wouldn't enjoy that? We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. Second game is Remedy's Control using the X12 and high settings, which are the highest ones. This game is really GPU dependent and that can be seen on the results. The overclocked alone gave us around 10 average FPS at 1080p and 8 average FPS at 1440p, with even 4K having a 5 FPS boost, which is almost 10% in this case. Activated SAM did boost the results quite a bit, both in terms of averages and 1% lows, with both 1080p and 1440p results getting a great performance boost. Now with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, a game that wasn't shown in the AMD Smart Access Memory charts, but it is definitely a game to look into. With my RX 6800 the difference is huge, at 1080p we go from 116 average FPS to 135, and the 1% lows get a massive boost of 15 FPS, which percentage wise must be over 15%. This once again, free. At 1440p the results are also easily noticeable and even the 4K ones are expressive here, where we basically go from 57 average FPS to above 60 
and with 1% lows getting closer to 50. Great results. Now with Red Dead Redemption 2 using the inbuilt benchmark and with high settings and Vulkan API. People following my channel know that somehow the RX 5000 series have extremely low minimum results on this game, even while having decent averages. As for my RX 6800, we have an interesting scenario. This is one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had with Sam Activated. Basically minimums are decently high with stock values, but somehow once I overclock my GPU, the minimums tend to drop. And no, the overclock isn't unstable. But once I activate smart access memory, the results get a huge bump in every possible aspect. The most impressive results I've ever seen are in the 1% lows, where at 4K for example, the 1% lows are almost as high as the averages of the OC results. And that is crazy. At 1440p we also have a massive jump going from 55 FPS at stock to 98. That's almost double the FPS in the 1% lows and that can be easily noticed when playing the game. Overall, astonishing results in Red Dead Redemption 2. Using Sam here is definitely a must. Now we have another title loved by the fans, Horizon Zero Dawn, using the X12 and high settings. Here we actually have the first game where activating Sam makes absolutely no difference. Thus, apart from a small uplift in the 1% lows at 1080p, they are impossible to get felt in terms of real gameplay. So basically, the only performance boost we have here is by overclocking our GPU. But even those results aren't impressive but the overall results are pretty fine though. So let's move on. Now with The Division 2, one of the most optimized games released by Ubisoft in the last decade. Just my opinion though. We're using the X12 and Ultra settings also, and the results have a fairly balanced scale here, with overclocking results being a bit better than the stock ones, being averages or 1% lows, and with Sam giving us a small but welcomed boost of both also. At 4K, Sam makes absolutely no difference, but you can get a small performance uplift if you're playing this game at over 100 average FPS, which once again is nice. Free performance is free performance. Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hanta off limit zone. Metro Exodus is our next title, using the X12, Ultra Settings and Tessellation on. This is the second title so far where Sam gives us no performance gains whatsoever but it also doesn't reduce the performance as said in some comments. Here, the performance uplift is mainly from stock to overclocked results, and it isn't bad at all. Although, apart from the 4K results, the game was really performing exceptionally well with this card in this particular first mission. So yeah, no performance boost, but good results overall. Now with the still vastly played Rainbow Six Siege, using ultra settings, Vulkan API and with 100% render. It may not seem at all, but this game is extremely GPU dependent and you'll only start getting CPU bottlenecked by weaker CPUs after like 300 FPS, which is crazy good. This all to say that we get a pretty nice performance bump by activating Sam. At 1080p we have around 40 average FPS more and 30 in the 1% lows, which in here is not big percentage wise, but it is always welcomed. 
even at 4K, where we are overing around 150 average FPS, using SAM ramps us up to 165 average FPS, with a good performance uplift in the 1% lows from 127 to 138. Very nice results for Rainbow Six Siege players. This time with Forza Horizon 4, one of my favorite casual racing games ever. We're now using max settings and 2 times MSAA, and look at this performance! At 1080p we're getting 214 average FPS with SAM activated. 214! We were already getting around 180 average FPS once overclocked, but SAM makes a massive jump of 30 average FPS. Even at 1440p the difference is big, with around 20 average FPS more with SAM activated. I mean, even the 4K results are quite better, meaning that you could easily run this game at 4K 120 FPS if you just decreased one or two settings from ultra to high, let's say. Amazing results. This is a game people always ask me to test, and it is PUBG. I didn't have the results before, so I tested them specially for this video. We can see that PUBG is one of those games where Sam makes absolutely nothing. It may be due to the AMD drivers, it may be due to using the X11, or maybe just because of the game engine, but the fact is that it doesn't make anything in terms of performance. Still, we get awesome results with this card even using ultra settings. At 1080p we're around 200 average FPS, around 175 average FPS at 1440p and at almost 100 average FPS at 4K Ultra, which is already a thing that most people just could dream of. So nothing to criticize here. The last game tested in this video is Cyberpunk 2077, using the usual DX12 and custom settings, which consist basically in 3 or 4 settings set to medium and all others to high. The test done was a small run through Night City, so we could actually have some AI impacting the performance. Not that the AI in this game is anything special though, but anyway. At 1080p we have a pretty big uplift in the 1% lows going from stock to overclocked results, and using SAM brought us up to another level. We get around 15 average FPS more, which is a lot taken in consideration how heavy Cyberpunk is, and another 12 FPS in the 1% lows, which is even better. The results are well noticed in every resolution, and even at 1440p the difference is well noticed in actual gameplay, which is awesome. With all the games analyzed, let's go to the conclusion. So guys, concluding, AMD SAM is indeed, Smart Texas Memory, is indeed a big plus in most games. So all you have to do is go to the BIOS Advanced, most likely the PCI Express options, uh, go to above for GD coding, enable it, and then enable the resize bar support. And that's all you have to do. I've also seen some videos about the NVIDIA's new resize bar support uh, and I saw that in some games it gains performance, in others not really, in most games it does not gain performance and at least from the videos I've seen, in the games it does gain performance, the performance uplift is really small, let's say like 5%, so not even comparable with AMD SAM that brings us uh, a huge performance a huge performance gain in some games, for example, from what I saw with the RTX 3070 uh, for example, Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 had almost no gains in terms of performance, while, as you can see with the RX 60, with the RX 6800, uh, the performance uplift is huge. So that's just an example. So uh, AMD SAM is a must once again. If you have it, if you have a B550, if you have an X570, or even uh, the newest released um, 
the newer released, I want to, I wanted to say that, the newer released uh, B450 motherboards with latest BIOS updates, you can also run it on those motherboards. If you have those motherboards, enable it, get free performance and enjoy life and gaming. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe and share this video because that really helps a lot. Leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what you, what, what your... <laughs> And let me know what was your performance gains and if you're using a Ryzen 3000 series or Ryzen 5001. Thanks a lot for watching, comment and see you in the next video.